so glad to have all of you here today. Uh, this is a momentous occasion for Filevine. It is a really big deal. We're so glad that you can be here. I will say this. I don't think this was exactly how we planned our grand opening going. <laughs> we, uh, for those of you that know Filevine, we like to be together. We like to feel that energy. We like to feel that spirit. Uh, I'll tell you this, though. Looking around, despite the empty halls, uh, some empty seats, and some space between us, it's not actually empty. We feel your energy. We feel that spirit that's all here with us today. Um, thank you for all of you joining us today. So I'd like to do some introductions. Uh, joining us today, we'll have a few different speakers. We have, uh, I'm actually going to recognize our, our esteemed mayor, uh, Aaron Mendenhall, is joined with us. We'll also be hearing from uh, Salt Lake City's technology and innovation advisor, Clark Cahoon. We'll be hearing from Ryan Anderson, uh, our co-founder, Nathan Morris, our co-founder. We're also joined by uh, Jim Blake, virtually, who's going to be joining with us. And, and to that end, uh, we do have a hybrid environment here. We're, we're so excited to welcome multiple people that are joining us. Um, in addition to those that I've introduced, we have with us uh, Filevine's board of directors, both physically and joining us virtually. We have uh, welcomed our Salt Lake City's Office of Economic Development, represented by Andrew Wittenberg and uh, Simone Butler. Thank you so much for all that you've done to help us move into this location and, and make that process as seamless and smooth as possible. I want to welcome and thank the media for being with us today. And I also want to give a special notice to you, all 276 Filevine employees who are joining us virtually right now, thanks to our incredible video crew and our, our, photo, photo, <clears throat> excuse me, our, our videographers and photographers. One last thanks uh, to Brianna Gomez and to Lisa Pisa for putting together just an incredible event and allowing us to all be here together today. So following just a couple words, uh, we'll hear from those speakers that I've announced. After their words, we'll actually head downstairs. So as a group, we will head down and we will do the ribbon cutting ceremony. Uh, there will be people to help kind of guide the path and, and show you the way down there. Following the ribbon cutting ceremony, we will actually have light refreshments. Uh, we'll have tours and opportunities for people to take pictures. So with that in mind, before I turn the time over to Mayor, um, to Mayor Mendenhall, I actually wanted to take a couple of moments and just say a few words about Filevine. So for those of you that aren't familiar, in five short years, Filevine has gone from a very small uh, basement, I believe windowless is the actual descriptor, uh, office below an insurance salesperson's local location to this beautiful facility that we have today. Uh, from one captive customer to over 20 thousand managing partners, lawyers, paralegals, and legal professionals, all whom we will be inviting to come out to Salt Lake City to be trained up on Filevine software and in the best practices of law. It's really remarkable. In fact, today we have, uh, I think it was actually just last week during our, our Catalyst Summit virtual uh, conference that Ryan had announced over six million actions are performed inside Filevine every single week. And those actions are not just simple page views or clicks. Those are documents, those are settlements, those are tasks and assignments. Those are major steps in moving the practice of law forward. And those are being done to many more millions of case files every single week. And there's a better word for that than case files. People. Quite literally, millions of people are being served and getting better access to justice they're having service, and they're actually receiving comfort within our system of law. But it hasn't always been that way. With that growth came a lot of sacrifice. Uh, many of you just endured discomforts and challenges. You had literal sweat and tears poured into building into this product. Um, I want to thank you and honor you, those that have been with Filevine from the very beginning. And those that were at the beginning may know something that no one else knows. Uh, Filevine actually had a different name before it was Filevine. Uh, is it okay if I say this? It's, it's embarrassing, but yes, it's, it's okay. I've, you know it's being recorded, right? <laughs> just don't, just delete it out. I'll tell you this, lawyers do not like you to surprise stuff on them after, <laughs> on, the, on the fact. Um, no, look, uh, before Filevine was Filevine, its name was Crops, C-R-O-P-S. True story, there's a logo and everything. 
the idea being that you plant the seeds and as a lawyer, you nurture those cases along and eventually you harvest the results. Although that name didn't stick with Filevine, the spirit remains inside the business. And today we're enjoying the fruits of those seeds that were planted five years ago. Uh, really happy to report that, you know, Filevine has been recognized by Salt Lake Tribune as one of Utah's best places to work. Uh, Utah Business Magazine recognized Ryan Anderson, CEO of the year. Amelia Shinke, our Vice President of People and Legal, uh, received a recognition as Corporate Counsel of the Year. And I'm extremely excited to announce, for the very first time, Filevine has been recognized by Inc. 500 as one of the 50 fastest growing privately owned software companies in the entire nation. So thank you, truly, Filevine is reaping the harvests from those seeds that were sown long ago. There may come a time, five years from now, we'll say, that we look back with fondness. Maybe we remember back to this day and we think about how simple, how easy, how fun the times were when we were announcing this new location. There may come a time where we look back with fondness and nostalgia on how far we've come from today. But that time is not now. Today is a time to recognize those sacrifices. We honor those things that people have put out, those nights and weekends that they've strove to, to really drive and build the business, that sweat and tears that they've poured into this. Today is a day that we take respite from that challenge, from that climb that we've been climbing, and we recognize how far we've come. This is that day. Thank you for joining us in this momentous occasion. Thank you for being with us. We feel that spirit and we feel that energy with you. We're so excited to kick it off. Uh, grateful for all of you to be here. Mayor, turn the time over to you. Thanks for having me here today. Welcome to Salt Lake City Filevine. Salt Lake City is so glad that you are here. I said to them a moment ago, welcome home. I hope you feel it and you can feel the heart that is built into this company and that's built into this location. I'm, I'm thrilled to be here with you in person. This is my very first in-person physically attending an opening since the world changed back in March. Um, and I know that this event has been a long time coming for all of you and makes it even more special. I'm happy to join our economic development team. There's several of them here, and Linnea is here as well, uh, a future tech developer, possibly a small business entrepreneur. And we're, we're going to not just welcome you to Salt Lake City, but we're going to keep the relationship going with you. One of the pillars of my administration, which just started in January, it's been the longest four years of my life, um, <laughs> and the most rewarding, has been to embrace companies just like Filevine. We want to grow our ecosystem of te technology-based businesses right here in Salt Lake City. And I've said as a council member for six years before that and on the campaign trail for mayor that we watched too many amazing tech businesses slip through the fingers of Salt Lake City to locations south of here and even some north of here. But Salt Lake City is where it's at. It is where the heart of the state is, the heart of the region, where character and diversity where creativity and entrepreneurship is the fabric of who we are. And so we, we welcome you intrinsically. And I think what Filevine brings and the company's presence here and opening today is the beginning of much more uh, growth here in Salt Lake City along these lines. We have endured a pandemic and a significant earthquake here back in March um, and an incredible social movement that's afoot right now. And Salt Lakers are resilient. I think you've seen that. And as you go through a crisis, whether it's as a company or family or a city, the true character shows in those times of trial. I'm proud of the Salt Lake City that we've seen on display since uh, the beginning of March and who we are as a city overall. I'm relieved that we've been able to weather the storm of the pandemic so far, but companies like this, companies like Filevine are not only part of our economic recovery, but they're part of our economic future for all the kids in this audience, for the children who have yet to come, for the fastest growing state in the nation that Utah is. 
our future needs to be embracing, cultivating, and prioritizing tech businesses. And that's our, that's our objective here as Salt Lake City Corporation. We welcome ideas, we welcome innovators, we welcome young people. And we welcome those who are adapting and changing and evolving with us to benefit others. We welcome it, this equity and diversity and inclusion, and we're going to continue to work with you as a company and as individuals to make sure that we're growing in that direction together. I wish you the absolute best of luck here. I commit to you our ongoing relationship to make sure that the way you grow helps uh, our people here in Salt Lake City and that we as a, a city corporation are helping you to grow as well. You couldn't have picked a better uh, location for walkability and beauty. Sugar House has been a, a heartbeat of character for our city a long time. Um, before all these beautiful buildings were up, some of us might have even come down here to coffee shops and concert places and pibs exchanged when it existed in a different spot. Uh, but the character of this business and the companies that are around here are still a heartbeat for Salt Lake City. So I'm certain that you will enjoy your stay here and your home here, and let's make sure that we do that together. Thanks for having me here today. Thank you, Mayor. It's great to, to live in and work in a city that cares about innovation. And even though we're going through a pandemic, the city didn't slink away and move in a different direction. Uh, instead of maybe cutting back on some of their staff, they actually were able to kind of double down and focus on technology and innovation as a core component uh, to economic development. And so I'm grateful to be able to have the role to, to be here and, and help shepherd that and help put in place the vision that Mayor Mendenhall has as we uh, look to take uh, the city into what we're looking to and calling uh, Tech Lake City. I actually live just a few blocks away from here and it's been fun to see Sugar House specifically just kind of turn into something um, even more than what it once was. Uh, these buildings that are popping up, companies like Filevine that are, that are taking root and finding a home here, uh, it's, it's really exciting. Um, it's really great to have Filevine, a company that's growing so rapidly that understands the, the friction that, that you know, law firms and, and legal offices have, and they're taking that out of it. And, and when they're taking that out, they're creating jobs and creating value and bringing a whole new kind of uh, way to look at things when, uh, in, in that whole realm in that industry. Um, one of the things that I'm focused on specifically uh, in, in my, my new role, and I've just, I actually started during the pandemic in, in May. So it's, it's been, um, I actually have never been to uh, what our offices are. I don't know what they look like exactly. I have kind of an idea. I've got <laughs> colleagues that have kind of filled me in on what it was like when things were kind of normal. Um, but I feel, I feel a really strong connection to the team and specifically to, to Mayor Mendenhall's vision in, in truly making Salt Lake City a place that harbors innovation, uh, that, that creates that type of diversity and inclusion within these industries that focus and have these type of values. And I can just tell you right now, we're, we're only getting started and it's really exciting. The, the future is extremely bright. One of the things I'm gonna be focusing on is, is healthcare innovation, which is a little bit outside of the, the scope of, of maybe uh, taking the friction out of legal documents and, and software as a service. Uh, but we really understand and, and recognize that uh, not only for a public health component, but also with economic recovery uh, through COVID and post COVID that we have something really unique here in Salt Lake City. And so uh, pay attention to what we're gonna be unveiling here in the coming months, uh, focused on harboring and creating a, a very technology friendly environment, but specific to the biotech, the digital health, and uh, just the innovation that's taking place uh, with, with some of our healthcare providers and some of our institutions within the city. So uh, I, again, I just wanna say thank you all for being here. This is a really exciting time. This is a perfect spot to grow a company. There's some fun things going on. The walkability you have to go grab a, you know, a bite to eat and having variety with that, uh, you, you can't beat that. And so uh, I'm glad to see uh, you know, this company, even during the, the midst of a pandemic, double down and, and not just shrink away from things uh, but to keep that momentum moving forward. So again, my name is Clark Cahoon. If I can help out with anything or, or you know, talk with you in the future or touch base, uh, I'm, I'm focused and devoted to technology and harboring that here in the city and excited to, to work with you all with this. Thanks so much.
Clark, uh, Mayor Mendenhall, thank you. Nobody hires a lawyer when things are going well. Uh, they typically hire a lawyer when there's a problem, when they've been accused of a crime, when they're in the midst of a divorce, when things don't go as planned. But the problem is that when people hire a lawyer, those lawyers are often overworked, anxious, and have too much to do to service their customers in a way that helps them in trying times. I built Filevine along with Nathan and Jim Blake and so many of the amazing people who've been with us for so long because we truly care about the clients that lawyers help every single day. Right now, tens of millions, I think the number might be 20 to 30 million, individual clients are being helped by Filevine software. The lawyers that service people in need at sometimes the very worst times of their lives. Those lawyers are better, their lives are easier, and they're more focused because of Filevine. So I'm incredibly proud at a moment when we need problem solvers in a world of strife and inequity to be a part of that solution. We love Salt Lake City. Filevine was based on the idea that the exchange of ideas produces a better result for clients. And Salt Lake City is a great place to exchange ideas. People come here from all over. I am so proud when somebody from any part of the country wants to move to Salt Lake to be a part of Filevine and I get to show them around my city. And Mayor Mendenhall, when you said welcome home, that meant a lot to me. I grew up on Hubbard Avenue, just a few blocks away. Uh, I learned to play tennis at Sunnyside. I rollerbladed and played tag and evaded security guards at the University of Utah. Um, this was a great place to grow up and this place means a lot to me. We are so excited to have you to be here in this great place where ideas get exchanged at the crossroads of the West, where people come to learn something new, where there's a lot of different cultures and a lot of different people doing a lot of different creative things all at once. Walkability is very important to us. We wanted a place where people could walk to work. We wanted a place where people could bike to work. We wanted a place where people don't have to lose two, three hours of their day in a motor vehicle. Instead, we want their creative energies here, making the lives of everyone here at this company and our clients and their customers better. So, thank you very much. We are so glad to be a part of the Salt Lake community. We promise to be good citizens. I can tell you this, it is a big deal to have a city that is geared and energized to help company, companies like ours succeed. Getting a diverse workforce, an educated workforce, a workforce that comes from all different walks is frankly a challenge in Utah. But in Salt Lake City, we have a chance to do just that. So thank you, Mayor Mendenhall. Thank you, Clark. We're very excited. And I'll let Nathan take it up. Go ahead. Well, you can all be relieved. I'm the last one talking this afternoon. So grateful to be here, everyone. My name is Nathan Morris. With my dear, who I consider my brother, Ryan Anderson, I'm, and, and Jim Blake, I'm one of the co-founders of Filevine. So grateful for the path that, that it's been to be here. Truly, I can say that right now, we, not only Filevine, but our community is in a season of transformations. What a wonderful time it is. And it, it's interesting, in, in, in my family tradition, historical geography and the responsibility for one's interactive sense of place is a core moral value. We gotta know where we are and why we're here and what we're doing. We're gathered here today in Sugar House, as, as our mayor alluded to, a city named for a sugar factory that was built but yet never produced a teaspoon of sugar. However, that building was transformed into a paper mill, a railroad machine shop, and a coal company before it was before it was raised. In fact, right here, it's my understanding that we're standing in what was once the industrial center of, of Sugar House and, and, and a much of Salt Lake. This block truly, as we've spoken of today, has been transformed. We are so grateful for the opportunity to be here and to occupy this space. Truly, Sugar House, though, is a symbol, a greater symbol of that transformation, 
This very building here for file line is a symbol of ours. As Travis talked about, I can remember the days in the basement without windows except for a vinyl sticker of an island paradise uh, made it look like a faux window to a dilapidated warehouse. Truly, we've, we've seen growth and transformation. Through tremendous effort, Filevine has become the core for legal professionals. As Ryan talked about, Filevine is that core platform through which all work is done at these law offices. Central to Filevine's offering, however, is that we allow legal professionals and businesses to do that same work in a protected environment from their office, from their homes, from the top of a mountain if there's service there. When the pandemic hit, Filevine answered the call for a safe, remote working environment. It's been tremendously rewarding to hear story after story from user after user that they were able to survive and to thrive through what this pandemic has, has put us all. More professionals are using Filevine to thrive in these uncertain times. We've been able to hire developers and staff across the board at breakneck speed to meet that need. We're grateful and humbled though that throughout this worldwide crisis where so many are faltering, we've experienced stability and growth in response to that greater need. We feel truly the accompanying sense of responsibility. We have a role to play for the economic stability of our region and our closer community. And, and Mayor, we're taking up that challenge. We, we, we truly are aligned with your mission. Clark, I'm so thankful and, and, and happy to hear what you've talked about as well. Um, you mentioned that Filevine might not apply in the medical space. We'll get ready. Filevine is much, much more than what we are today. We're truly grateful to meet that need. Our goal is to empower more professionals to work from where they need to, wherever that is. Not only in reaction to the pandemic, but on the mission of being a greater community partner. Filevine, at our core mission, is part of this transformation towards an economy with big impacts, yet small footprints. So last, I'd, I'd like everyone to forgive me, but I'd like you to indulge, indulge me to commemorate this moment of, of responsibility and transformation. I'd like to share another special tradition from my family that I carry with me. I've invited two very special friends of mine, Brian and Dustin Jansen, to come and sing an honor song together to commemorate this, this occasion. While my family hails from the Southeast, I felt it fitting for us to sing together with Dustin and Brian, just like we used to do in the old days. Here today as we stand in the lands of their people, the Southern Ute, the Navajo, the Kiowa. I invite everyone to stand so that we can sing an honor song together. In my tradition, this is how we, we celebrate and recognize our responsibilities with soberness and, and gratitude. We are here to continue the transformation of our community. Thank you. <laughs> 